Well, my good friends, uh, there's a little video called uh, Drunks in the Ditch. Yeah, you're seeing yourself. Well, this should be a good one. And, uh, my, oh, okay, uh, yeah, I was in a, me a metro the other day and I ran into, okay, when a young guy come up to me and he says, yeah, I got a, my, uh, okay, I didn't get his name. Uh, but he says, yeah, my, uh, my buddy's a big fan of yours, uh, watch, watch all your videos. And, uh, okay, these two guys, to be uh, very familiar with uh, this area where I'm in right now, I'm on uh, Lakeshore, and over here, that's uh, Mike Weir Park. Uh, okay, this happened on Friday. I mentioned this to uh, people at work, and well, I got all kinds of different reactions. Like uh, Jeff, he kind of laughed, and he thought it was kind of funny. Um, everybody else is like, they, 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 were shot, they were shocked. This is no way that didn't happen. Yep, yep. So I'm on the bus, I'm coming home, and it was like 5:30. This is a daytime, okay? Not nighttime. Uh, it was right around like right now. So uh, uh, we come, we're coming down this road here. Uh, so the bus bus stops just up by the uh, by the park here. Comes uh, and then she gets out and comes back. I'm like, what's going on here? So there's a, a car parked right about here, or maybe a little bit further up here. Um, and they're looking in the ditch. I'm like, oh, I think they hit a dog. I'm like, uh, okay, this, this can't be good. And uh, so uh, she comes walking up to the, to the people and they're pointing. And then all of a sudden, this guy, this guy pops up from the ditch, right down here. And I, I go, oh, I'll show you. Oh, well, actually, you're gonna, um, in a few minutes, I'm gonna, go down here and see if there's any more drunks in the, in the stitch. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's kind of scary too, because, um, uh, like, like, like I was telling everybody at work, is this, unless you're actually looking in the ditch for, for something or someone, the only way you're going to see them is if they're like standing up because this guy was laying down. You're like, why is this guy laying in the ditch? Well, he was hammered. Oh, I didn't tell you how old he was. Oh, he's older than me. Older than me. Not younger. And I, I can point out in this area at least five drunks. Okay, they're smart enough to take the bus. This guy, no, I, I know exactly where he came from. I'm pretty sure. I'm going, uh, there, there's actually two places down here he could have came from. And he was trying to go home. You know where his home is? On the other side. Not this way, so he didn't even know which way he was going. So he's walking down here, and it, it, like I was uh, explaining to everybody at work, I says, the only way they're going to see him is if they actually saw him stumble into the ditch, which I think they did. So they helped him out, and then, so she gets, the bus driver is pointing back towards the bus. I'm like, oh, we're going to give this guy a ride. Oh, oh, oh. He, uh, I know he's hammered. I can could, I could see it. So he gets up to the bus, and she had to help him up. This guy weighed like 300 pounds. Easily a hundred pounds more than me. He had a 50-pound beer gut on him. Okay, so uh, after she helps him up on the bus, he's sitting there. Oh, oh, I just about gagged. He smelled like a brewery. Uh, so she says, "Okay, where, where's your wallet? Oh, I don't know. Where, uh, I left it in the car. Where's your car? Oh, I don't know." <laughs> um. So I see she's giving him a ride home. I'm like, okay, you're going opposite of where you're going. Okay, this guy clearly has a problem. And so anybody who knows me would have said, hey, you used to drink and do stupid things. Yep, I've smashed up cars. I fell off a fence, uh, smashed a bottle and, and broke my, or stitched, uh, my, my hand was a bloody mess. Um, what else? Uh, crawled out of a hole. Fell down, hit my head on a brick, uh, hit a park car with my bicycle. Okay, that would have been uh, previous to when it was 32 when I quit drinking. 32. Not 42. Not 52. And definitely not 62 like this guy. This guy that they found in the, in the, in the, in the ditch. Frankly, I wanted to just leave him there. What you're doing is, by helping this guy is, He's saying to himself, oh, I've done this a million times. Oh, these guys help me. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, I just, I just go get hammered up again and fall in a ditch and somebody will have me out again. I'm not doing it. I'll just, I'm just going to walk away. I see you in the, Here, let's go have a look for 
Yeah. There might be a drunk in the States right now. Here. Hey. Any drunks in here? Hello? No drinks? Uh, no drunks over there either. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, that's not a drunk. Uh, actually, he was like right about here somewhere. Now, see how deep it is? Look. He was laying here. How are you going to see unless you're looking? You're not, you're not going to find him. Unless you're actually looking. No, they saw him stumble in there. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I was saying everybody at Rick is just... I've done, no, that's the only thing I didn't do, is stumble into a ditch. I did everything else except that. So, so the, you know, the, uh, so basically it's like a public warning. Okay, when you're driving by here, um, you're thinking, okay, uh, I'll be driving by here at night. I'm looking for deer. Well, you're going to have to look for drunks during the day because you're going to find one in here. Uh, okay, yeah, so I, so I, I tried to call, uh, MAD, uh, which is uh, Mothers Against uh, Drunk Driving. I says, what's the illegal, the illegal position of the one? Uh, where he was, they were, he might have been hammered before he got there, but they were, they were serving him, clearly. There's, there's no way, I mean, it's possible. Uh, he could have just got hammered without going inside. No. No, they were serving him too. And uh, they said, no, we, 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 don't, we don't know what they, you're going to have to talk to cops. I'll be talking to him on Saturday. So, uh, uh, anybody driving down here? This is daytime. You need to you need to look for drunks coming out of the ditch because they're going to be here. I saw one. I, just when you think you've seen everything, no, you haven't. I, that, that's a first for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? Oh, you you haven't caught on. You haven't caught on at forty. You didn't catch on at 50, and you're not catching on at 60. He could easily just walk, stumbled right onto the road, got, got nailed, which would probably be the better, because uh, eventually it's going to happen anyway. I mean, he dodged a bullet this long. I mean, uh, oh, and his buddies. Okay, his buddies let him walk. And oh, yeah, and the bus driver says, yeah, how come, how come he didn't get a cab? <laughs> oh, my God. Re Get your head out of your booty, freaking drunks. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, for for anybody uh, coming down this road, beware of drunks. <laughs> drunks drunks in the ditch. That's what this video is. Anyway, okay. Oh, yeah, so um, I'm uh, bringing this stuff right here. Uh, I got this from uh, Superstore. And, oh, and that stuff that I got from uh, Metro, that was uh, juice and... Um, uh, bacon. That, uh, that's going to the lodge too. But uh, 90 uh, percent of this uh, bag right here is going to the lodge. Uh, I'll do that on Saturday. I don't. I don't have time during the week. Uh, anyway, okay. I got to get back home. Uh, I got to finish a movie. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. This movie's called uh, Daylight Sun. Oh, it couldn't have come any quicker for this this screwball in the ditch. Oh my. Oh, he was hammered. I mean, <laughs> hammered. It's 5:30 in the afternoon. Oh, come on. Uh, Okay, yeah, so uh, people beware of this road. Okay, uh, I'm back home and uh, you guys rock.